Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we have a very exciting special Today's gonna be a little struggle of a video because I'm going to be introducing you guys to my puppy Freya, my Australian Kelpie and French Bulldog 10 month old puppy. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you might have seen Freya in the background of my videos, just following me around everywhere. But she is my puppy that we got in July of 2018. So we've had her for about eight months now, eight, nine months if I'm doing math correctly. <laughs> this video is gonna be a little bit of a struggle because she has a very short attention span and she's very excited. So in one of my previous videos, I said I wanted to go through her story, how we got her, all about that. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a brief overview, introduce you to her, and we'll go over some more things um, later on in my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> and Freya hopefully doesn't fall asleep in this video. So this is Freya. You may have seen her in my previous videos um, that I've done like cleaning with me and stuff like that where she just follows me around the whole house. But she is a French Bulldog and Australian Kelpie mix. So she is nearly one of a kind. I say one of a kind or nearly one of a kind because there were two of them in the litter. I'm editing this video now and I realized I forgot to mention that Freya was an accident so the two breeds were not meant to breed and I don't necessarily encourage anyone to breed those two breeds together. So Freya, like I said, is an Australian Kelpie and French Bulldog. She is 50% French Bulldog and 50% Australian Kelpie. So she is a very interesting mix and not a breed that is commonly bred as you would assume. Um, so how we got Freya was from Gumtree here in Australia. So Gumtree is kind of like Craigslist in the US if you're familiar with that. But um, basically we were looking for dogs for a while. We were looking at older dogs. Um, we were looking at the shelter and we have two cats already. But after thinking about getting an older dog that a puppy may be better to have a puppy that was brought up with cats so that hopefully our cats and puppy would get along. Um, so that's just what we started looking for. So we went to the shelter and stuff and we just, in our area, there weren't breeds that do well with cats. We went to multiple shelters, met lots of dogs because we love the idea of adopting. We adopted both our cats. So obviously if there was a breed that would work for us, um, we would have gotten it from the shelter. Long story short, we saw an ad for two puppies that were part French Bulldog, part Australian Kelpie. And if you're not familiar, French Bulldogs are very, very popular and we've always loved them and always have wanted one, but we also wanted an active dog and a dog that we could go hiking with that wasn't just like an apartment style dog. And if you're not familiar, Australian Kelpies are commonly as like sheep herding dogs or working dogs. So working breed dogs are very active. They're a different breed of dogs, let's just say. So they require a lot more. So an Australian Kelpie by itself seemed like a bit much. A French Bulldog, there's, uh, there's a lot of health concerns with French Bulldogs. So we thought that the combination of the two could be great. And uh, we ended up with Freya. So like I said, there were two puppies in the litter. There was a male and a female, and obviously Freya the being the female, but um, male was brown with a black nose and black markings, and then Freya who has the Kelpie kind of markings. So we really loved the Kelpie kind of markings. We weren't really particular in male or female. We really didn't have much of a preference when it came to the gender of the dog. So she was born May 27th and we got her in July. So we had a drive. Well, Nathan actually drove a few hours and picked her up. We didn't meet her beforehand um, and he brought her home. Like I mentioned, French Bulldogs have a lot of problems with them. One being breathing problems, skin conditions, joints, things like that. The awesome thing is, is how Freya is built is a lot of Kelpie traits to her. So she has the long nose, she has long legs. She's not necessarily built like a French Bulldog, so she hopefully shouldn't have those breathing problems or health problems that a French Bulldog is bound to have, basically. So <laughs> she is just falling asleep 
on my lap. But she looks kind of like a full on Kelpie, but she does have that bulldog kind of smushed face a little bit. I don't see her getting much bigger. Originally, I was kind of wanting a dog a little bit bigger, but the awesome thing is, is that she is decently small. She's a bit bigger than a French Bulldog, but she has really long legs. So it's great because we're able to take her on long hikes. We're able to, you know, be active with her, which is what we were looking for. So it's great with having a small house, having a smaller dog, but one that's really, really active um, so that we're able to do those things that we were looking for with a dog. Now, <laughs> that being said, so there's a lot of things we love about Freya. There's some pros and cons about getting a mixed breed, especially a mixed breed that really no one's ever bred before. So there's a lot of wonder and you don't really know much. Um, all we could have really asked was the personality of the parents, but Freya may be completely different than her sibling. Like she could be more like her mother, while as her brother may be more like her father. So you just never really know what you're getting with mixed breeds, which is something that you kind of have to take into consideration. We had really no idea, especially not meeting Freya beforehand, what we were getting ourselves into, to be completely honest wanted a dog as a companion so that's our our standards weren't really that high but needless to say getting a puppy is a lot of work and you need to have a lot of consideration do a whole separate other video on that um but so with getting a mixed breed like i said you could you never know what you're really going to get so with freya um we probably have more kelpie than french bulldog personality but we've kind of, I don't want to say it, but we've kind of gotten the worst from both breeds with her. We absolutely love her. I want to make that very clear. We love her. She's a great dog, but she can be challenging because of the two breeds mixed together. So that's something to consider with getting a mixed breed. Um, Australian Kelpies, like I said, they're very active. They're working breed dogs. So you really need to get that energy out. You need to have them constantly be exercising. Um, or they can get really excited and all that so she's very excited she's very hyper um, which can lead to problems with still learning not to bite or, or teething so really really excited she tends to show her excitement with her mouth so she's a super friendly dog she loves people more than she loves dogs um, she absolutely loves people but um, she can be still a little nippy because she doesn't know how to control all that energy. French Bulldogs are known to be super stubborn. So she's very smart and she picks up things very quickly because of the Kelpie aspect in her. But because of the French Bulldog part of her, she only does stuff if she really wants to do it. <laughs> like I'm just so thankful that we did get part Kelpie with the French Bulldog because she is obedient because of the Kelpie, but she does have her moment of being stubborn because of the French Bulldog. She is an interesting mix and um, we absolutely love her, like I said. Um, but she is a handful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'll insert some clips of her when we first got her as she was a puppy and just some other clips of her um, when she was tiny because right now she's, she's still small. I don't think she's gonna get much bigger to be honest, maybe a little bit bigger, but she's still um, easily mobile. I can easily still put her in a bag or stuff her up and carry her around. <laughs> Look at you. You'll definitely be seeing more of Freya in a lot of videos. Freya looks like she's about to go take a nap. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!